Hi guys, welcome back to Island Girl Recipes. Today we're going to be making the national dish of my island, Montserrat. Yes, for those who know, we're going to be making goat water. So let's go. So starting with our ingredients, we've got some fresh goat meat here. It's boned and boneless because they're shoulder and leg. So it's good that you can get a mix of cuts because they have different textures and the bone marrow really flavours the sauce. We've also got some garlic, some ginger, some spring onion, regular onion, scotch bonnet, pimento if you have, if not you can use like a mild green chilli because that adds a nice texture to the sauce. We've got some bay leaves, we've got some cloves, pimento and mace. We also have some browning and some brown sugar. As you know by now, starting off by washing the meat just with some lemon juice and some water, you want to pour that onto the meat, let it sit for a few minutes whilst you prepare the veg and then we're going to strain it off to get it ready to cook. So to prepare the fresh veg and the fresh seasonings that's going in, I'm literally just roughly chopping the garlic, the scotch bonnet, the spring onion, the ginger, the pimento, all of that because it's going to stew for quite a while, you don't have to worry about it being fine or anything because it will literally break down and also it will thicken and kind of give the sauce some texture. So now that the veg is all chopped up, we're going to get ready to start browning the meat. So I'm putting some oil in the pan here and we're going to burn the sugar. So that's a way of creating a brownness to the sauce. It also gives it some nice flavour and it creates a nice kind of caramel taste. So basically you just want to let this bubble up slowly by itself without burning. And we know it's done when it starts to bubble and separate from the oil. Now we're going to add the meat, just keep that turning into the brownness of the sugar and that will just slowly caramelise a little bit until we get ready to add our seasoning. I'm just going to add some salt and pepper at this point. Also going to add in all the spices at this point as well.
once the meat's kind of turned over a few times, we can add all of our fresh chopped seasoning and stuff. The garlic, the ginger, the spring onion and so on. Once that's all absorbed through and kind of evenly coated within everything, I'm going to add the brown in at this point and then top up the pan with some water. I like to add the brown in early because I want to make sure by the time everything's cooked that it's taken on that really deep dark colour. That is a good indication that you've got some good coat water. Right, so everything's in the pan now. Just brought that up to the boil, cover it and leave it to simmer for a good at least an hour and a half two hours all dependent on the size of your chunks of meat as to how long it will cook but we know it's cooked when it slips easily off the bone So I'm just going to check this, as you can see it's reduced down a bit, the meat is really starting to get into a nice deep dark colour and everything is breaking down into the sauce but if I just check this it's not quite soft enough yet so we're going to leave it for a little bit longer. Alright so this is done now, the meat is nice and tender, it's breaking off the bone quite easily in my hand. The last thing we want to do is just to let this sauce get a little thicker so, so I just want to thicken this sauce a little more to make it a nicer texture so you can use corn flour or you can use flour, butter and a little bit of water. So I'm going with corn flour and all I'm going to do is dissolve that in a little cold water and then put it back into the pot allow it to boil up a bit more and then we'll see the thickness change. This is a little thicker now, it's perfect. Last, last thing to do is to add the rum. I'm adding it last because I don't want all the alcohol to cook off. Even though it's going to be hot, it will a little bit, but I don't want it to boil in too much. So we're just going to add that in now. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it's just a nice touch and that's what I was recommended by my auntie to do, so I'm taking her advice. And this is ready to be served. So to serve this, all you need to have it with is a bread roll, something fresh, nice and warm and that's exactly how you'd have it if you was in mozzarella and that's how I did anyway absolutely loved it. So as always guys thank you so much for joining me today especially on this one as it's the national dish of my island Montserrat. If you like this video or if you haven't yet checked out all of the other ones I've done so far there's plenty more to come so thank you for watching thank you for sharing and if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe hitting the notification bell so you get updates when i load up on mondays wednesdays and saturdays until the next time peace and love